we're going to fix the problem that's causing that cascading event okay. to make all that <laughs> melanin keep reproducing and, yeah. and spinning itself out. So once we've fixed that and we're hitting it with all of the, like, the lightning agents and things like that, the skin's going to start turning over without that pigmentation. Like we're nice. fixing it at the core, so we're going to be reducing the, even the need for using melanin inhibitors continuously. All right, we have a new product alert. Beep, 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 beep. beep. <laughs> Exciting times here at Yay. Platinum Skin Care. All right, we are uh, adding on to our alchemy line. Yes. With this much weighted a product here. Yeah. We are, we've been talking about this on and off now. Yeah, we've mentioned it a few times. A few times. Mm -hmm. um, pigmentation obviously being a huge um, battle that a lot of people are dealing with, and yeah. it's a stubborn one. It is. And so, like, you know, we, we try to find exceptional ingredients yes. for you to microinfuse into your skin, mm -hmm. right? So obviously key things that we already have, we have our epidermal growth factor, mm -hmm. hyaluronic, and we have Replexium in here, which is really good for collagen. And obviously, this is already collagen induction therapy. So people come to this a lot for wrinkles, mm -hmm. and you know they're trying to help minimize and soften their lines and stuff. But it's not the only reason um, sure. people come here. Um, but so far, the ingredients that we've had have been to focus on that. Like we mm -hmm. have our XOPDRM, super good for, you know, anti-aging, yes. problem skin, and the exosomes, which are also just absolutely yeah. amazing and can be added into any other serum. Okay. And now we've had a lot of people, and I, when, I, when I was thinking, I had to think long and hard about what else to add and sure. what other ingredients are safe to needle into your skin. Why would you want to needle this into your skin? The sheer act of needling is the benefit, yes. right? That's going to help your skin no matter what you needle into yeah. it. But we want to make it more beneficial, you know, obviously by adding some really good ingredients because the deeper we can get these ingredients, I think it's like 80% yeah. more effective wow. by needling them into the skin. Interesting. That's so, awesome. Yeah. So now we obviously, we deal with so many mm -hmm. people that have hyperpigmentation. Yes. So I'm like, well, it only makes sense yes. to needle some pigmentation ingredients into the skin. Perfect. So we have our exospot. Mm -hmm. And this has some insane ingredients in it, really good. So highly awaited from a lot of people, yeah. always wanting tranexamic acid, super for wow, okay. hyperpigmentation. Also in here, glutathione, mm -hmm. which people do injections for glutathione all the time. Mm -hmm. Alpha lipoic, which is an antioxidant. Niacinamide, which is known for you know pigmentation. Sure. Um, let's go to the kakadu plum, which is a a form of vitamin C. Because you have to be careful with vitamin C. You don't want to needle L ascorbic or anything like that into yeah. your skin. So this is like a different form of vitamin C, and it's in here very at a, a light light level because because everything has to be safe. Sure. You know, you can't be putting heavy percentages of yes. these kinds of ingredients and needling them into your skin. Mm -hmm. That would be very dangerous, right? So we always need to be safe with this. Also really amazing things is the DNA repair enzymes, right? Mm -hmm. So we have two in here. Mm -hmm. We have the micrococcus lysate mm -hmm. and then the Arabidopsis thaliana. So those are the two that are found in our body naturally. Okay. And these are the ones that when you get them in, well, on your skin, in your skin, mm -hmm. they're going to work for about another 12 hours. Mm. And they're going to be able to fix, it's between 50 and 75% of the damages in your skin's DNA. And when you think about your DNA, there's only one thing that can heal your DNA, and that's DNA repair enzymes. That's right. why we're actually putting these in all of our serums, yeah. right? So you're going to see rolling out mm. in the PDRN. In the exospot, yeah. and also in the EHR. This one will come later because we just happen to have more stock of this. We're not going to put it in the exosomes because that is just pure exosomes that you can add into either of our sure. serums. So you're always going to get the DNA so when repair you're enzymes. Mixing those, you're still getting it. You're yeah. going to end up with that anyways. But these are going to be so helpful because if you can repair the DNA, let's think about hyperpigmentation. And we've kind of talked about this a little bit in the um, Cell and Tell video about how 
pigmentation is so problematic. Like yes. we're using our, our melanin inhibitors to kind of turn down the production of yes. the melanin, which gives your skin the discoloration, but it's going to keep doing that. It's like a constant battle. We're like, turn down, but your DNA is broken. And it's like, no, I got to shade myself, make right. more. Oh, so we're, yeah. so it's pumping out more and we're saying, turn down and it's pumping out more. So what is the key? The key is to fix the problem, mm -hmm. right? So if we can fix the DNA, we're getting these repair enzymes right down there into the DNA, we're going to fix the problem that's causing that cascading event okay. to make all that <clears throat> melanin keep reproducing and, yeah. and spinning itself out. So once we've fixed that and we're hitting it with all of the, like, the lightning agents and things like that, we're, the skin's going to start turning over without that pigmentation. Like we're nice. fixing it at the core, so we're going to be reducing you know, the, even the need for using melanin inhibitors continuously. Well, like hopefully it'll be yeah. like a cycle that you can kind of like break and cut back on a little bit. Like still, if you're like super prone for pigmentation mm -hmm. or you spend a lot of time in the sun, things like that, you're always going to want to use like a melanin inhibitor. For sure. Because you don't want those problems, but we're going to be fixing them at the source. Right. And then you might not have to be so aggressive on a daily basis. You might only have to use maybe an inhibitor a few times a week or something mm. like that. Maybe like save your dollars and not not right. have to buy Fade Bright so much, you know? Question. So if somebody is struggling with some pigmentation mm -hmm. and they want to get started with this exospot, mm -hmm. should they isolate their microneedling to just the pigmented areas at first? No. No. Okay, because first I was thinking yes, but then as you were talking, I was thinking... Well, no, you would want that all over then yeah. to prevent. Or should that, they go over that pigmented area more times? That's a good question. Like, I don't think that you want to fill up your, you know, needling and only go over the areas of spotting. Okay. I would say to go over everywhere. Okay. Th that's not a problem. But let's say, okay, could you? Yeah. You could. Yeah. You could open this bottle if you wanted and, and like, oh, I only have a couple of areas of spotting here and here. If you wanted, you could put a very small amount sure. into your needling tool mm -hmm. and needle that area. And then let's say, well, I want to go over the rest of it with PDRN or whatever. Cool. Could yeah. you do that? I think you could. So you could spot treat maybe just an area with that. And then if, if you, you wanted were, let's to. say, we're doing the EHR serum or one of the other mixtures, then you could go all over the face. You could. And I know that's good because there will probably be some people that want to do that. Yeah. And you can. I feel like I would still just do this all over personally. Okay. Right. Or I would mix it with my other one. Like I would mix this with my PDRN and my exosomes and I would make a lovely yeah. concoction. Sure. And then I would needle that all everywhere. Ah. It's not going to harm anything. These ingredients aren't going to harm you. Right. The tranexamic acid and the glutathione and all that. It's not going to cause white spots in your skin or anything okay. like that. You don't need to worry about things like that. But you could if you wanted to. Would it be a bit of a preventative to help combat future pigmentation? Like if you are using it Well, all I think the, the DNA face? repair enzymes are what's really going to help okay. to prevent future right. hyperpigmentation, in all honesty, as we're fixing that at the core. So explain to me a little bit more about transexamic acid. Is that a melanin inhibitor? It is, okay. and it helps to lighten. Okay. So, yes, it's highly used in, like, higher percentages and things like that. Okay. I think there's a lot of prescriptions with the tranexamic right. acid. I know you can take it orally as well as topically. I've heard yes. both ways, you know, like talking to people. Yeah, like the people that have really, really bad hyperpigmentation yeah. or melasma mm -hmm, and things mm -hmm. like that. It's just, it's not going anywhere. Then you can take the oral form. That's prescription, of course. But, yeah, it's known to Got be it. a very good. So know. if you are prone to pigmentation, this is something you definitely want to add to your regimen. Yeah, but I do want to say, as much as we're helping this, if you have melasma, the core of a lot of a melasma problem mm -hmm. is hormonal. Okay. So hormones are playing a big part. Mm -hmm. The pigmentation that this can really, really help is you know UV damages, damages from the from sun. The sun. So it can help everybody. It can help melasma, but it's not yes. like a cure for melasma, mm -hmm. you know, because melasma stems from multiple ways. It's not just UV damage. It's also other problems. Okay, I'm thinking of questions that I can foresee in the yeah, crystal ball Yeah, but what coming. questions are coming, and we'll see. Can they mix that with Fade Bright? Can they add that to a serum if they want to use it daily? Um, You could, but I don't think that 
the actives are in a high enough percentage mm-hmm. that you're going to want to like dilute it into something else because okay. it would become very diluted. I think this is something that we want to focus and needle into the got skin. It. If let's say you've got a little bit left over in your bottle mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and you know, you don't want it to go bad, you could pour it into your fade right bottle or something. That's not a problem. Or even keep it and, you know, kind of dot it on any pigment that you may have you for totally like the next could. three days or whatever you have left. Absolutely. Because the whole thing is these are safe injection into okay. the skin because there's no preservatives in there. So if you have leftovers, you're either going to want to like, you know, take a fade bright mm-hmm. or something, add a couple pumps in there to right. stabilize it, add right. those preservatives, or you could take your leftover this and pour it into another bottle, whether it's Regenerate, Nano Hyaluronic, with whatever you want. Yes. You could use it up that way. Right. I generally put it on your face as you're done needling. Sure. Whatever you want to get into your skin, like before mm-hmm. 15 mm-hmm. minutes, like you get about a 15 minute window before those holes are closed. Got it. And we want to make sure to get any leftovers that you can in there at that sure. point. But like okay. I'm saying, if you were just want to do a little spot treatment, you're mm-hmm. only using maybe like half of it. Right. Yeah, you don't want to let this go bad. So okay. either add something to it or add it okay. to something else so you at least get use from this product. So even though that has some DNA enzymes in there after they're done needling, mm-hmm. if they opt to want, you know, want to apply cell and tell, you know, 30 minutes later or something, that's okay as well. Yeah, you could. Okay. And so like I was saying, like this has, this has three of the DNA repair enzymes. Okay. This one also has plankton extract in it because this is like a product that you're going to put on during the day or so, mm-hmm. walk outside, and then the sunlight yeah. is yeah. going to activate it. Or even inside your house, if the light's coming through your window, it's going to activate the plankton. I didn't put the plankton in here because mm-hmm. I feel like you don't want to go into the sun after sure. you've done needling. Yeah. You're going to probably be in your house or you're going to get ready to go to bed. It wasn't necessarily beneficial to put plankton extract in here, right. but that is certainly in cell and tell because this is like an everyday product. This is just like a specific treatment. Another um, question on the body. They can use this on the body as well, yeah. on the hands for, you know, yeah. H-bots, arms, arms oh gosh, that yeah. sort of thing. I think I know your answer to this, but I have to ask, will it at all help with any hype? bow pigmentation or evening out skin tone? I don't think so. Okay. I don't think so. That's generally where your melanocytes are totally damaged. Yeah. And I I would have to do a little bit more research because I don't even know. If the DNA do, enzymes could yeah, help with you're, that. You're that, wondering, right? That's that going to be. That spawns that's, that question. That's gonna, yeah, that's going to spur a little bit of research on my end because that is yeah. like a permanent damage that has been done usually from yeah. something quite aggressive usually damages those. But is those. the melanocyte Does that connected help? with this DNA? So, you yeah, know, this could is it a possibly help that? We're getting into some science here, but... Yeah, we're going to do some, like, chat GBT going yeah. on here yeah. and see if we can't find that. But, yeah, you never yeah. know. It could potentially help. Because hypopigmentation, that's where your yeah. body has stopped making sure, it. It's like yeah. literally the melanocytes are dead. Like, mm-hmm. they're not making any pigment anymore. Got it. As with all of them, um, after you use it, after if you've there used it, is a little bit left since there is no preservative in there. Yeah. You would need to keep it refrigerated for only what two, three days. If you want to keep it, so so the ingredients are okay. Needling. I'm just gonna read it right off the box. There we go. Because it's all on here. Opened bottle. Do not refrigerate. You don't have to refrigerate. Oh, okay, good to know. But. You definitely want to use it within 48 hours okay. or you want to mix it into or with a serum with preservatives. Now, this is going to last two months okay. like without being refrigerated or up to three months being refrigerated. So if you do mix it into, say, Regenerate, you do not need to refrigerate that mixture. Not I mean, If you're going to use your product up within two months, you don't have to refrigerate okay. it. Yeah. If you know that you like only use a pump every other day and sure. you could have this for four or five months, I would refrigerate it okay. because it's going to last longer. Right. And I try to put everything, I try to cram everything I can into that little refrigerator. We have I the love cutest that. little beauty for refrigerators if you have not saw them on You will website. have to bring one up yes. here and set it on our little oh, table so there. it's so cute. It has the little, uh, it has a touch light in front. And the mirror and the little, the little platinum mirror. logo. Yeah, it's very, very cute. It's a cute one and I use it all the time. And very so, effective. Yeah, I I put all of my stuff in there. Whatever I and I have some of this in there. I have some of this in there. I like it cold. That's I don't know why. Exciting. It's great. Well, especially after a chemical peel or something too. Like if yes. you put on your emu oil or something when it's nice and cold, it's very soothing. Yes, it 
would be. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Perfect. Well, if you have any other questions regarding ExoSpot or any of our products, yeah. feel free to reach out to us at 1-800-917-3155. Right. And you can email support at PlatinumSkinCare.com or visit us on our Facebook page which is platinum skincare gurus that's our mm -hmm. group actually yeah and there's over almost it's like forty two thousand people in there amazing. there's a lot of people there's a lot of activity there's a lot of photographs befores afters during pinned questions posts. our pinned posts are very crucial pinned posts will answer every single yeah. question that you ever have yeah it's all there in the pinned posts and the guides in your and you can in search your too there's a search uh little search box in there where you can search the actual group page yes for keywords. And, and there's a lot oh there's a lot of talk about the alchemy yes. line in there and what people are doing and what they're using and how they're mixing it mm -hmm. and you know the kind of results they're getting and right. I think somebody just said the other day that they went um I forgot where she went to get her hair done or something like that sure and she was just saying like the girl was like what did you do to your yeah. face and she's like oh my gosh I don't know like like I'm just you know my normal skincare products and this and that and she's just like you know everywhere you go people are like noticing yeah and it it's just takes a little while you know I want to say like I don't know probably a good like five six months like mm -hmm. someone that you see fairly regularly like yes. maybe you get your hair done every you know sure. two months or something mm -hmm. they might not have noticed the first time but like then the next time they see you and it's been like 12 weeks they're like oh, what are you doing what good. did you do I love that. you know like the, it's such big changes but you'll you you'll see that because people talk about that all the time in the group like I love hearing stories like that that's just the best that is the best that, those are remarkable stories I love that too yeah all right well thanks so much for joining us